Oh, at pediatricians' works. offices, parents are worried. We wanted to make sure that our young ones are safe. Doctors like Nicole Normand in Los Angeles say patients are asking for one thing. Well, a lot of families are calling and wanting a prescription for Tamiflu, even if their kids are perfectly well, because they want to have it just in case. The antiviral drugs Tamiflu and Relenza are the only known treatments for swine flu. The Centers for Disease Control says only patients who were exposed to the flu need medication. Dr. Martin Blazer of New York University says taking Tamiflu unnecessarily creates a public health danger. It's not a good idea to have it at home just in case because the more people who have it, the more people who use it, the sooner resistance will emerge. But some who can't get the drugs from a doctor are turning to the Internet. Online pharmacy direct response marketing says sales of Tamiflu have spiked 800 percent in the last week. Access Rx reports a 62 percent increase in sales. To buy Tamiflu in a pharmacy, you need a prescription. Online, you may not. My producer ordered this Tamiflu with just a few clicks of a mouse and a $160 charge on a credit card. We just typed in we had fever and flu. Check the informed consent agreement saying we consulted a doctor. An online doctor supposedly reviewed our order and approved our purchase, but no one called or even emailed with questions. A few days later, we have the Tamiflu in hand. The CDC says websites like this one are falsely claiming their medicines prevent swine flu. And reselling Tamiflu like this posting on Craigslist is illegal. It's okay. Doctors warn patients should be careful about what they buy online. Because like all medicines, Tamiflu and Relenza have potential side effects. The one that I've experienced a couple of times with my patients is uh, delirium. So it's kind of scary to see your kid hallucinate. And if you're doing that for no reason other than paranoia, then it's silly. That's why most doctors are refusing to prescribe the drugs unless a patient is sick. Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Los Angeles.